The Earthquake, a folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a hare near the Western Sea. He lived in an earth hole under a small palm shrub at the foot of a bale tree, that is, a bilvapatra tree. One day, as the hare was getting food to its home, a strange thought came to his mind. What if the earth falls to pieces? What if it falls on me? He thought, almost shivering. At the same time, a big ripe bell fruit fell right on top of the palm shrub, making a loud thud. At this, the little animal jumped straight up into the air, being quite sure that the earth is really cracking and falling to pieces around him. He got so scared and started to run madly, without even looking back. Another rabbit saw him running and asked him, Why are you running like this? You look so scared. Don't ask me, said the hare without stopping. But why, but why? The other repeated, running behind him. The earth is falling to pieces behind us, said the first hare, still running. The other hare also started running after him. In the same way, another hare saw him and yet another, until a hundred thousand hares were all fleeing after him. Then a deer saw them, and a boar, and an antelope, a buffalo, a gazelle, a rhinoceros, and a tiger and an elephant, and all asked the same thing. What is this? Why are you all running? The earth is falling to pieces, was the reply. So they all joined in the stampede, followed by the whole race of each species. In this way, gradually, the line of animals stretched out over a distance of about three miles. Then, a huge lion appeared and he saw the wild flight of these animals. He shouted at them, What is all this? Are you all out of your senses? When he was told that the earth was falling to pieces, he thought, There is no question of the earthquake, but I guess they might have heard some loud sound and misunderstood. Unless I inquire it right now, this might get dangerous. With this, he jumped with a terrific speed to the foot of a hill in front of all the animals and roared thrice at the top of its voice. They were all frightened out of their wits. They turned about, huddled up together and stayed where they were. The lion walked in between their ranks and asked them, Why are you all running away? The earth is falling to pieces, they said in chorus. Who saw the earth falling to pieces? The elephants know about it, someone said. He asked the elephants, but they said, We know nothing about it. It's the tigers who knows that. The rhinoceros know, said the tigers. The gazelles do, shouted the rhinoceros. No, the buffalo says so, submitted the gazelles. The buffalo said, We were told so by the antelopes. The antelopes added, No, no, ask the boars. The boars pointed towards the deer, but the deer said, We just followed the hares. Ask the hares. When the hares were asked, they all pointed to one hare and said, This one told us. Now the lion came close to the hare. Oh, it's you who has spread this news. Well, is it true that the earth is falling to pieces? My lord, most certainly it is true, I am telling the truth, said the hare. Well, where were you when you saw this? asked the lion. Oh, sir, among some palm trees close to the western sea. There, I was resting under a palm leaf. There was a big bell tree just above that. I began to wonder where I would go if ever the earth cracks. And at the same time, I heard the crash of the earthquake and I ran as fast as I could. The lion thought to himself, No doubt, a ripe bell fruit might have fallen on the palm leaf and made the crash. So this little fellow on hearing it thought that the earth was cracking up and he fled. Better I take a look into this matter by myself. After this, the lion took the hare to a side and spoke to the other animals. Listen to me all. I'll go and find the truth about this earthquake. Until then, you stay here. Don't move until I come back. 
he said in a commanding tone all the animals nodded their heads as if to show their obedience now the lion asked the hare to sit on his back the hare did so and very soon they were at the foot of the palm trees the hare jumped off the lion's back and the lion said go now show me where you saw the earthquake oh lord i'm scared said the hare nervously don't be stupid come along he shouted at the poor hare the hare still scared to go close to the bell tree stood far away and pointed towards the spot where he heard the terrible crash and said that's where that's exactly the place where i heard the crash do you live here asked the lion yes sir i do said the hare well do you know what caused that loud sound what else it was the earthquake wasn't it said the hare no said the lion in a tone of certainty what else i really think it's a earthquake the lion did not pay any attention to the words said by the hare instead he walked towards the place under the palm leaves on inspecting he found that a ripe bell fruit had fallen on top of the palm shrub now the lion understood everything he also made sure that there was no sign of an earthquake anywhere nearby come on jump onto my back he said without losing any more time the hare sat on it and within a few minutes both of them went back to the assembly of animals the lion spoke to them again dear animals you don't have to be afraid of anything there was no earthquake or any other calamity go back to your places and live as you did before all the animals thanked their king and went back to their home imagine what would have happened if the king lion had not gone to check the real fact that's why the wise people say you should verify the fact before you believe in anything no matter who said that or how you got to know about it for solved examples from this chapter please visit our website themindpalace.in the link is given below in the description mind palace